Colonel Davis, like they're getting initial assessments now. We know B-1 bombers were involved. Uh, lots of different types of munitions, uh, uh, planes, missiles. But do you see this possibly escalating further, or is this going to be a series of contained strikes over the next few weeks? Well, that's certainly what the Biden administration wants. I think the chances are extremely low that that's the way it turns out. And the reason is why is because both in the CENTCOM statement and in President Biden's statement as well, they specified that they also went after IRGC Quds Forces targets, not just the Islamic resistance of Iraq or Khatib Hezbollah, which both of which claimed that they had responsibility for attacking the Americans, but they went after Iranian targets on the ground in Syria and Iraq. Now, we don't know whether we they killed any of them or, or what may have happened. Happen, but we do know that earlier today, the Iranian president was emphatic that says if any of their troops are killed in IRGC, for those who may not know, those are Iranian troops. Uh, and the, the IRGC commander said that emphatically that he would retaliate if anybody attacked his troops. Uh, and based on their recent history, and, and that goes all the way back to 2020, I think that they're probably going to make good on it. So the question that I have for the administration, which they have not answered so far, is what is the objective here? What do you want to accomplish? And what comes next if Iran's not deterred? Because that's where the, you get to the point to where this could easily start uh, escalating up and could end in a war all too easily. Well, and Iran had said, of course, not that we take any stock in what they said, but they had said initially we weren't involved in any of the decision making of those who carried out these attacks. I mean, big deal. I mean, how do I mean, what is it? I mean, we. Obviously, we can't take any stock in that, but uh, and nevertheless, right. that's their that's their stock line. Right. They, true. But, but America has to take action that is the most prudent and the most sober that's going to give us the chance to limit our damage, to take to, to defend our people, but then not to escalate and to attack targets that may end up spawning more attacks back onto us. So then instead of three flag draped coffins, it over, we end up with a bunch of them, and that is bad for America. So we got to be much more careful about how we do target selection. Um, now, the president's statement today read, our response began today. It'll continue at times and places of our choosing. The United States does not seek conflict in the Middle East. But let all those who might seek to do harm to us know this. If you harm American and American, we will respond. Uh, respond. That's tough talk. Uh, from Joe Biden. Um, but at some point, if this were to escalate, conservatives on Capitol Hill will call for a vote by Congress. If it comes to that, I mean, this, I mean, if it comes to what looks like a war in the Middle East, we right. need to get Congress back into the game of declaring war, do we not? Absolutely, 100 percent. That. That, that is an obligation. It's not it's something they should do. It's something they must do if it's going to escalate beyond that. And that gives the American people a chance to weigh in to say, do we want you to take us to war? And I think the answer is going to be hell no. So I hope that they go that path as opposed to allowing the president to continue having unilateral action in violation of the Constitution to, to possibly suck us into a war by attacking into Iran.